Hey guys, so today I'm going to do an updated piercings videos. Videos. I'm doing multiple videos right now. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be all about the piercings that I do have. I have been getting so many questions on my Tumblr, a couple on Instagram, and a couple on YouTube about my piercings. One of the most popular videos that I have on YouTube was made, I think, about two or three years ago, and it was about my filthrum. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and touch up on that and then talk about the current piercings that I have right now. So my filthrum piercing took about three to four weeks to fully heal and um, not be swollen anymore. My lips swelled so bad. Um, I know it's not that way for everybody, but I do have a pretty thick upper lip, and when it was pierced, the piercer wasn't really as experienced as he probably should have been. Um, I should have done my research a little bit better, but I really wanted that piercing at the time. He pierced it with a very short bar, which I'm sure would be longer if your lips weren't um, larger and it swelled like crazy and then that just kind of doomed it from the start. Um, after I got it switched out to a longer post, it did eventually start to heal. I had a little, um, like a duck kind of lip for a while. Uh, it would come down to a point it was really swollen for a very long time. Um, but after it did heal, I kept it in for about one and a half years. I had it for quite a while, um, yeah, I mean, I took it out to get other piercings. Yes, I do still have a scar, and I'll go ahead and, uh, that little dot right there, that is the only thing that's left. It's not still open, um, the back is still smooth, I mean, really, besides the tiniest little scar, you can't tell that I used to have it. Um, yeah, so if you want to get it, get it, but go to a good piercer who's going to give you the kind of jewelry that you need for your healing. Um, go for it. It's probably my favorite piercing that I did have. Um, only took it out to get another piercing that I really wanted. It was great, to be honest. I love the way it looks. I like the symmetry of it. It's a gorgeous piercing. Um, if you have the right length of jewelry, it's not going to hit your gums and like uh, cut at it or anything like that. Apart from the first few weeks, it wasn't hard to eat with or talk with. Like you can't tell that it's there after a certain point, which is great. <laughs> um, I barely even noticed I had it in until somebody would mention it. So it is a very kind of low maintenance piercing after healing. So, on to what I have now, which really isn't very much. Um, <laughs> I have my double nostril piercing, which is like that. Um, this right side, the post is a little bit longer because my nose is thicker on this side. And when I put in a smaller piece of jewelry, it um, it's a little bit too tight and too snug and doesn't really, it doesn't feel good. So I deal with a longer post so that it doesn't end up swelling and getting fucked up. Nose piercings are so easy, pain level is low, I mean they healed really fast and easy for me. Um, I got them pierced with just basic jewelry and then after it healed, because I've had these for like almost two years now, after they fully healed and everything, I did upgrade to the pieces that I have now. And I also have new jewelry on the way, which is an upgrade from this upgrade. <laughs> I got into very fancy jewelry. Um, let's see. I have a triple cluster. These end pieces are from BVLA. They are gold and they are the rose gold finish, which I think complements uh, tan skin pretty well. So I'm very happy with that. They took about, I think it was like a month to just be fully healed to where I could switch them out and not worry about it. Um, the healing was minimal, there wasn't very much swelling, I really had no issues with it after I got it pierced at all. Um, my septum, I did get my septum pierced before my nostrils. 
I got it pierced with, um, what's it called, a retainer, which just looks like a horseshoe, and I just had it flipped up in my nose for like two or three months when I first got it pierced. Just didn't mess with it, did a couple sea salt soaks, and then it healed. It was great. Um, I did get a cold right after I got it pierced, and that was kind of gross. Um, having septum jewelry and being sick is like the worst thing ever. <laughs> But that being said, after I had it healed, I switched to an industrial strength clicker. Um, I got it pierced at a 16. The jewelry I got after was a 14, so I stretched and kept that piece in for a little while. And then went through this really big, like fancy jewelry state where I just wanted all of the fanciness in my nose. So I got a rose gold. Um, piece of jewelry, really simple, just a ring, kept it in there for like six months. Um, and then after that I got this piece, which is also from BVLA. I'll go ahead and get close so you can kind of see it. It is gold. Um, it cost uh, more money than I would like to admit. Um, I do get a lot of comments on this jewelry. Um, this does happen to be the same jewelry that I guess FKA Twigs has um, in her collection, so a lot of people are usually interested in that. Um, I just thought it looked really great. I like having the whole symmetry and like, I don't know. I know it's very trendy and all of that stuff, but I like the way it looks. I'm okay with that. <laughs> So I've had this whole setup for about the last six months and upgrading my nostrils to even more fancy jewelry with opals and all of the fun stuff. Uh, last piercings that I have are pretty basic. I have my ears pierced. Um, also with BVLA jewelry, <laughs> it is a gold pizza slice and the pepperonis are rubies. <laughs> I have a problem with fancy jewelry. Anyway, um, I do have my ears stretched. Um, it's a very old piercing. I haven't worn jewelry in them in forever. Eventually I'll probably get them sewed up, but for right now they don't really bother me. Um, I think they've shrunk to like, what is it, a six now, which is pretty nice considering they were at three quarters of an inch. They were rather large about the size of a quarter so they do shrink if you stretch them right um will they ever shrink down to completely normal not for me i would have to get them sewn up which i'm okay with i knew that when i started stretching my ears and it wasn't anything that i felt i would be concerned about and i'm not it's really it's not gonna affect my life <laughs> So that is all of the piercings that I have now. I have had many, many piercings since, you know, I turned 16. I started getting them. I'm dating a piercer now who happens to be the person who did all of my piercings. If you live in Boston or Cambridge or Somerville in Massachusetts, I would suggest going to Peanut Brothers. Um, it is in Cambridge and the piercer is Aaron Foster. He does great piercings, obviously. Um, go ahead and check them out if you get a chance. Anyway, um, I hope this was at least entertaining for you. I know a lot of people requested this. It's the only reason why I'm doing this video. Um, I have been requested to do an updated tattoos video too, which I will get to eventually just maybe a little bit later down the road because I am working on a back piece which you can't really see from here but yeah that's my next project so um comment rate subscribe follow me on instagram follow me on tumblr follow me everywhere but not really in real life <laughs> anyway um I will chat with y'all later and Thank you for watching. Yeah. I'm uh, gonna go eat a 